art school. I'm here to talk to you about my experience. I went to community college for two years for my associate's degree. Of course, my parents didn't really agree on my plan to become an animator, but I still went ahead and studied the arts and maybe some other general stuff. Everybody needs like math. Pfft, yeah, like I need that. I was accepted into an honors program and did pretty well. I graduated and made myself a portfolio and on to my next school. It was just three hours away from home and a chance for an actual animation program that does really well on those top 10 websites. I looked them up right beforehand and there it is. Now it is time to really show them what I got since most of the actual animation I had done previously was stop motion animation, clay animation, and maybe some doodles I worked on. So I submitted my portfolio and what do you know? I got in. I was only one of 30 people in my class. So this program in particular taught computer animation. So imagine things like Pixar and DreamWorks-esque kind of animation. And when it comes to computer type stuff, I'm a little slow. Boy, what they taught me was <sighs> Maya. Everything was Maya. Maya is an industry standard. But man, look at all those buttons. I distinguishly remember my intro to 3D modeling class. I go ahead and start sculpting and trying to remember all the tools from all the tutorials I watched over and over again, and I'd run into problems almost immediately. I soon found out that modeling just wasn't for me, and I barely passed that class. I learned how to model in 3D, place cameras, light up lights, <laughs> put lights up, create an environment, create a story, and really just put a bunch of visual development stuff. And also, animation! <laughs> At the end of the first year, we were also grouped up and ready to embark in an emotional roller coaster that is creating a student film at the end of the program. And these are some of the issues I faced. I did not like asking for help. I still to this day don't really like asking for help. Most of the time I'll just do it myself. There were however some times where Google didn't really help and I'd go to one of my classmates and they would just say to Google it. Yeah, okay, I'll Google it because I didn't already Google it before I asked you. What really helped me through this were YouTube tutorials. Art school can be difficult for a lot of people, and it's hard to work on your own skills without comparing yourself to others, especially in the same field that you're competing in. I've never really experienced anything like this before, and I worried a lot if this was really what was expected in the animation industry. For me, I was scared and felt out of place. I felt like I was the weakest link of the bunch. Over time, I was being rejected for being too slow for the production schedule. I felt lost. Soon enough, I was dropped from my team and on my own for the rest of the time in my program. I made my own animation in the span of 11 weeks. It wasn't easy. And I'm not really proud of it. I graduated in May of 2021 with my bachelor's degree, thinking to myself, what could I have done better? So here I am now. I made it to the present time. Here I am creating videos on TikTok and YouTube because I want to. It wasn't easy in the beginning, however. With some support from my loved ones, and especially from my boyfriend, I'm back creating something that I actually want to show. If there is anyone who is struggling in their career path, just know that it happens and it comes with growing pains. And believe me, I'm still going through it. Best thing to do is just to do it. Fuck it. This is only the beginning. If you made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching. This is in no way a PSA to not go into art school or not pursue your dreams of becoming an animator, but rather this is just my experience and what I'm doing after the fact. I've I've heard some people don't even get their big break until five, 
10, 15 years after they've graduated from school, if they even went to art school in the first place. You know, every every story is different. Everyone is is different. So, like I said, just do it. Just make something and keep making things so then later you can see your own improvement. So, I don't know what else to say. Bye.